I would like to thank Caressa McKnight for sending me this story. And honestly, I should have spoke on it before this story was even sent to me because I did hear about it a, maybe a couple days ago when the story broke because it came out on, well, this, on the Land of Black Star, which I'm going to read it from, it said it came out on the 15th, but I heard about it a couple days before that. Herman Cain is doing the same thing that Paris Denard and many other fallen coons have done before him. And that is kiss 45's ass in hopes that he in hopes that their ass kissing gets attention from him in hopes that they probably get a job. David Clark does the same thing. And when Diamond and Silk get put out on their ass, they're going to do the same thing. Because basically all they have left is their brown nosing. So in case y'all don't know, Herman Cain who fell from grace, thank God, and I usually don't like to put that in front of another black person, but he deserves it, has now come out and said that black people are brainwashed to dislike Donald Trump. See, I don't know what it is, but they think that black people should have a hive mindset when it comes to certain things. They think that we should have a hive mindset when it comes to these Democrats. They think we should have a hive mindset when it comes to Republicans. Candace Owens is one of those people that feel probably would be on the same wavelength as uh, Herman Cain, Eva Clark, uh, what's his name, Paris Denard as well, because they are all Rethuglicans. And notice all of them are currently unemployed. How does that sound to you, Paris Denard? Since, you know, you said it's a good thing that the unemployment rate is what it is for black people. That was another thing that got me about Paris Denard was him saying some silly stuff like that. Knowing he fell right into that percentage. But anyway, back to Herman Cain. He says that he believes that black people are brainwashed to dislike Trump. That couldn't be more further from the truth. No, black people are just waking up to what this whole political thing really is, especially since we have been so politically, how can you say, stifled for so many years. And finally, black people are aware of what the hell is going on on both sides of the spectrum. They think that if we like Democrats, then we are brainwashed by the quote unquote liberal left. And if we like the uh, Rethuglicans that were somehow extremely conservative or brainwashed by the conservative right. And that's not even the case. We just know what the hell is going on. And we know that neither party has our interests at heart. Let me go ahead and read this article from Atlanta Black Star. Herman Cain, a pal of Donald Trump and former pick to serve on the Federal Reserve Board, insists African-Americans don't fancy Trump because they're being brainwashed by the media, quote-unquote. Look at this. It says, former pick to serve on the Federal Reserve, former meaning no longer. The Pisa tycoon and former Republican presidential candidate was asked by entertainment outlet TMZ why he thinks the president has won such little support with the black community, despite what Cain said was important work on the issues impacting black folks. They are getting brainwashed according to the news they watch. It's been statistically shown that certain stations, certain news outlets, they simply aren't telling the entire truth. And in some cases, people are being brainwashed. Kane argued that Trump, age 72, has done lots of help to the black community. You know what's so funny? A lot of these individuals who get up on these platforms and say that Donald Trump has done this for the black community and done that for the black community cannot even name one damn thing that he's done, but they'll run right back to that unemployment thing, which he did not actually do under his watch. It started under the president before him and it translated over, but they'll never say that. These idiots, these fools, just say and regurgitate anything for a job. That's why I keep mentioning Paris Denard and that unemployment crap that he talked about was it last week. That thing rolls back up from the dead, like one of them walkers on The Walking Dead, just to say some BS like that. That made no kind of sense, not a shred of sense. He says the pre- and here it is. 
here it is. I, I just spoke it up. He says, like supporting criminal justice reform and driving the black unemployment to record lows. I'm telling you, it always goes back to that because that's the only thing that they can talk about. And it didn't even start under him. That's their only talking point. The president has largely taken credit for the shrinking rate of joblessness among black Americans. However, the downward trend initially began under the Barack Obama administration. That's the part they always leave out. Now, this is not me taking up for Obama, but facts is facts. That whole unemployment thing with black people did not start under Trump's watch. But they'll have you to believe that it did. Oh, they'll try to make you believe that it did. Still, Cain believes Trump deserves more credit. He should be given credit for what he has done for our entire nation. He should be given more credit for what he did for criminal justice reform, but they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about the real results he's achieved. What a, a results? He still hasn't gotten that damn wall built. It's still a lot of illegal immigrants here. He has one full a uh, year left well actually no if you really think about it it's either one full year or maybe a little bit over that before the election cycle really really starts to kick in the next one anyway and we'll see how much he has quote unquote achieved Kane's comments follow his withdrawal from consideration to reserve on the Fed's Board of Governors, a position Trump nominated him for last month. The former Godfather's piece of CEO pulled out amid mounting criticism over his unbashed support for the president and past sexual misconduct allegations. Now, you would think that because 45 and Herman Kane have so much in common with those sexual assault allegations that Donald Trump would actually come to Herman Kane's defense and try to fight for him on his behalf. But oh no, he didn't. Herman Kane got his wake up call when he had to bow out of that race when that stuff came up about him. Mr. 999. My friend Herman Kane, a truly wonderful man, has asked me not to nominate him for a seat on the Federal Reserve Board. Trump tweeted in April. Trump only calls black people his friend who support his ass. That's the you. I'm sure many of you picked that up by now. I will respect his wishes. Herman is a great American who truly loves our country and he loves the hell out of you. Kane caught flack last year when he defended the president's racist shithole countries comment describing African and Latin American countries. The black conservative insisted Trump was only describing the country's conditions and not its people. Well, when you say shithole countries or shithole anything, you're not just talking about the countries and the landmass that it's sitting on. You're talking about everything inhabited inside of it, including its citizens. You dumbass. That's what I mean when I say their ass kissing goes so damn far. Because they say and regurgitate silly crap like that. I remember when he said when he called and referred to those nations as shithole countries. The same could be said here about rural America with all those opioid written counties and states and cities and towns. But they won't talk about that. But yeah, Herman Cain is just saying anything he can right now to get some media attention his way because ain't nobody really checking for Herman Cain these days. Nobody. Just like nobody was checking for Paris Denard. And I tell you, like I said in the other video, we won't be hearing about Paris Denard after this for a while unless he keeps on talking. After that stuff that happened with him at CNN last year, nobody heard from uh, Paris Denard up until last week. And the same will happen to the rest of them. And I hope it stays that way. And it's crazy. You would think in this age of social media, they would still keep talking. But, you know, they would. But you still don't hear about them. Look at Stacey Dash. We haven't heard much about Stacey Dash since she got fired from Fox News. She tweets and stuff like that. 
but it goes under the radar. No one really sees what she says, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But Herman Cain, I consider this for him a blip on the radar. And he too will just fall into obscurity just like the rest of them. Sitting up there talking about how we brainwashed the dislike Trump. No, you're the brainwashed one, Herman Cain. And been brainwashed. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.